Hi there. It's 10 o'clock at night and here I am in my little new craft room upstairs um, as opposed to the one I had downstairs before. I've been doing a little project on it, ageing paper. I've done two videos already. I'm going to do another one um, just to show you the techniques I'm using and they're for in this journal that I've been doing. Um, last pocket to fill in this front section then I've got going to move on to the middle section and the back. Um, the journals are complete. I just need to do all the tickling up and blah, 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 you know all the bits and bobs, all the great stuff. So I'm just going to do an aged paper for in here. So <clears throat> I have my aged paper here. Well, no, I have my paper to age here. Let me just get my glass mat. And this had. The last two papers I've done have been Mother Shipton. Mother Shipton is in Aging One. It'll tell you all about it there. So, um, she's a well-known English witch and prophesizer. And prop is prophesizer the right word? I'm just going to tear that black strip off there, first of all, because I don't want that on. And I'm not being too, oh, not being all the particular with my tearing because this is old paper, remember. So I've got some water and I'm just going to go around the edge. So I've got water, I've got coffee powder, I've got kitchen roll. So this is similar to the last one I did, but not the same. This is ordinary print paper. Just out of a uh, pack that I just bought at the supermarket. I'm not using the stronger stuff because I want it as thin as I can. And this is from printed from an inkjet printer. I've got a pair of scissors, just an old pair. And I'm just going to go all around the edge. I've wet it and now I'm going to go around the edge like this. So don't use your best sewing scissors. This will do great. You, there is going to be a bit of noise on this video because I will be drying it. However, you can either just fast forward over it or turn it down. So can you see the edge that I'm getting there? That lovely old looking edge. Yesterday I watched a video on YouTube and it was showing the accents. It was actually in London and it did it from about 14... 20 or something uh, right up to modern day and it did like every 60 years what the accents would have sounded like the old English I couldn't really I couldn't understand that one the original one and that was sounded very sort of German and you think about like the Anglo-Saxons but we've had the Anglo-Saxons we've had the French we've had the Vikings uh, Norsemen so it's no wonder we've got lots of different accents here so interesting to listen to though so like you watch these programs and my favorite's back next week um and it's just so good that they don't talk in these accents because we'd never understand what they were saying so when i think of mother shipton and the F f's as s's and things like that you think well i wonder how she would have, well she would have spoke like the one from the, the 14 1500s I think that's when she was around. Right, so we've done the edge there. Because <clears throat> when you read the uh, old English, it's it's not the English that that we sort of know now. Right, coffee. There's about a teaspoon in there. Coffee, water. Now you might think, oh, she's doing the same as she did the other day, but I'm not. I'm not. The one I did the other day, I did like this, if you remember, just sneed it up and down. This one, I'm going to blob. And it gives a completely different look again to the other one that I've, the one that I've just done, where I just smoothed it up and down. I think this is, uh, the other one was more like royal paper. Whereas this is more like peasant paper. So let's just dry that off. Oh, 
pair. We don't do that. Okay, so I hit it there with the old uh, this heat tool, but never mind. If this paper's 500 years old, it probably would have a hole in it. That's one thing I love about um, junk journaling is that your mistakes can just soon become rectified, can just become part of the normal makeup of your page let's just put some dabs on i like this one i think i prefer this one to the smooth out one of last time so you get that rough uneven look this time. Very nice indeed. Uh, so a few people have asked me online, are you going to get a full flip through of the journal? So I'm showing you the papers that I'm doing in it and some of the ephemera I've made. And people have said, is it a full flip through? Flip through? And yeah, there will be. I've just not quite finished it. I've got the interior to embellish. I've got the journal that goes on the back of it to embellish then there will be a full flip through right i'm just going to dry that itself on now. There we go. I'm going to just take that out. I'm going to get some uh, Distress Oxide Black Suit. And where's my little sponge? My little sponge. I'm just going to go round, you know, some of these edges just to dirty it up there. Been in work today, real work, not crafting work. And then again tomorrow, it's a month then. I've got to get all the management accounts ready and things. My son, who's, uh, who should be doing all that, he's not very well at the minute. So he's up at my daughter's in Durham, just having some time out. So I've had to go in and do the month end. Let's get that really rubby around there. Yeah, so I've gone in, so I'm there, I was there all day today, well no, half a day, I've got something funny to tell you there, <laughs> so I was there half a day today and I'm there probably probably about three quarters of the day tomorrow, all day if need to be. Right, so, those of you who know me will know that I've not been scud, so I've been having abdominal issues 
for a few months now and I've well not for nearly a year let's be honest and my doctor I've had all the tests done so I know it's not a cancerous issue so anyway uh, my last appointment I should have had in March no my first appointment I should have had in March from my referral was cancelled because of the doctor's strike fair enough I really support our NHS so that was cancelled anyway my other one my second appointment which was my first appointment so my renewed appointment was for today so i got there five to um appointment was five to two i got there about quarter to two walked in and i'm in the right place yeah 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 yeah. i've come for my appointment she said i'm sorry mrs alexander it was two days ago so i thought oh so i was two days late so that's go back on the list and start the procedure all over again so goodness knows when i'll get seen Anyway, that's enough for me, but two days later. My husband said you should have gone to Spec Savers, which is a British optician. Um, yeah, I've got my glasses, but obviously, <coughs> I don't know. This is my brain needs seen to. So there we are. I think that is probably my favourite one. And if we're going to fold it, which I am, to put in the envelope, let's just add a little bit of distress along the fold lines. Hold it there. Do you know I prefer to use these like this than putting them on them. I've got those wooden things that they go on, but I prefer these because I think they're much more sort of malleable. So yeah, this journal should nearly be finished. So I've got something exciting planned next, which I'll bring you on the journey. I'm going to make like an ephemera. Hessian ephemera folder, which I'm really looking forward to doing. I'm going to do that next, so I will take you on the journey of that from start to finish. Hopefully, well, I'm, away, I'm going to Wales next week, so it's going to sort of be in, a, in about a week or so's time when I start that. I'll do the flip through of this journal first, and then I'll do the, the other bit for you. So can you see where I've folded it and you get those edge lines. I'm also going to fold it, I can fold it here, this bit. Yeah, so coming up I've got the flip through of this one and the ephemera folder. But like I say, I'm away. So go away Wednesday again off to Wales because we had such a good time. Last, last time we went, a few weeks, about a month ago, we're going again. I, uh, I'm ready for that break. I'm ready for a Caribbean cruise, but that isn't happening. So there we go, that's that. And that's that. So that will fold up this way. Hang on. Let's get it right. And then we have to remember now which way all this folds down. So go in here so I can't remember if that's first then that and that so you're having a little sneaky look as it is and there's that and there is that one yeah and that ties with this is that correct yes it is it is correct mm. Do you know, it all falls nice and flat on what I did. And then the minute you start adding your ephemera, it all just goes, doesn't it? And just poofs right out. So that is that bit. I'm going to stand up. That is the front of the journal. It's like an altered file folder journal. That is the front, which I love. I love those birds on this uh, silk ribbon. That is the front. And then next is this middle part, which I had made paper dolls, but I've pinched them and put, them, put it in the other one. So I'm going to make some more paper dolls. I ordered some um, wooden tags, which are beautiful. But I've got my, my centimetres and my 
ink is mixed up, so they're only that big. So they're a bit too tiny. Whatever centimetres this is, I thought it was inches. And I thought they would have been great in there, but they're only tiny. But we'll do for something else. I've got that one to do. So I'm hoping to get that done this weekend. And then, so that ties with that. So you're having a little sneak preview of this, of this journal. And then on the back here, we have got another journal, which is here. Because the front is so embellished, this one won't be as embellished. And that one just fits on the back. I think that one's a journal. Two. I'm just up to sort of here. I just need to do some a pocket and some bits and pieces. And this one will be finished. And that one fits on the back there. And this inspiration has come from Robin Dudley Highs, the artsy bohemian. So thank you, Robin. So that's the back. So that's the thickness of the journal. And I'd say it's quite a, quite a great um, Halloween journal. That I'm looking forward to giving you the full, the full Monty and letting you have a look through. So thank you for watching while I've done the quick video on paper aging. And um, hopefully by Monday, I can do your full flip through of the journal. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.